So today, me and Angie went to Trader Joe's, and you know what happens when I go to Trader Joe's? It just, it's, I, I, it's, it's blurry, okay? But we also went to the Trader Joe's wine shop, and so I'm just gonna do a little haul. I'm gonna be taste testing everything like throughout the week on my stories, which. If you already follow me, then you already know what happened. But here's the haul. Okay, mandarin orange chicken because we all know this is dank. I saw this as I was checking out. It's everything but the bagel seasoned smoked salmon. So I think this will be really good on my avo toast. Cookies because I love sprinkled cookies. This shit is dank. It's a good like lazy food to cook. Corn because I can't fucking find corn anywhere. Like extinct here. Um, Some peanut butter and I also got, where is it? Some raspberry jelly. These are Angie's or some tortilla chips to have with her Miss Salsa. Peanut butter, sandwich crackers because I like to munch. Cheese crackers because I eat it with my bitchin' sauce. Snickerdoodles because apparently they're really good. This chocolate almond granola cereal. I love eating this with my coconut yogurt or just with oat milk. RX bars for when I'm feeling lazy and like a pre-gym snack. Butternut squash ravioli. That's Angie's. We're gonna try this pesto chicken this week, so we'll let you guys know how that goes. Some white truffle potato chips because we're sluts for truffle. Chia seeds because I like putting it on like literally everything. These are some of my favorite gummies and some dried mango. And I got some other protein bars and whatever. RX bars are just so fucking good and Power Crunch bars too. And this is all our wine. So I haven't tried this and this, but Josh is delicious. It's the only four letter slash J name thing I'll ever put in my mouth. And some three <laughs> bottles of Coco Bond. Cause this shit is so good and it's only $7. So that is my haul. Angie's currently hanging some stuff up in her room. So this is what we have so far. She's working on these holes at the moment. So uh, so here we have, um, this is called an anchor. <laughs> I actually learned this today. And what you do is you drill a hole in. This is for shelves, or like heavy stuff. And um, then you get your old anchor and you hammer it in. And. <laughs> oh, I'm breaking it. Wonderful. <laughs> so. So it's not what you do. I'm scared. This is the first nail I've ever liked. Wait, you've never hammered a nail in? I don't think so. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that nail. Oh, <laughs> it's not going in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it went in. Oh my god. Is it not getting it? Wait, what are you doing? I don't know, I love it. Okay, perfect. Put in her poster. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'll be fine. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> it's a little cricket, but that's okay. You just gotta scoot it over. Oh! 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 Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where I left off in this vlog. But this is obviously gonna be the last um, moving vlog since you know I've been here for a little over a month, but I feel settled down. The apartment is basically furnished and my room is furnished, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how it all looks like. So let's go. We still need to build a little entryway thing, but we have a little runner. This is me and Angie's uh, situation. So we have eucalyptus, we just haven't hung it up and we've actually had that for a little over a week. So yeah, but cute little matte thing and our stuff and nothing great just you know the basics of a restroom and our kitchen we have all my shit on the table and you know like i said nothing crazy but we did furnish the living room we have a new roommate comey and our rug and a sofa we're waiting on our tv to come in as well it's furnished but just not fully furnished, but we're, we're, on, we're on the way there, so. Now on to me and Angelina's corner of the apartment. We have our little board, and it's so cute because Angie does these things every single day, and we just have to listen out, you know, some posy vibes. And this is how she furnished her room, which I'm actually really obsessed with. I really want this rug, high key. It's a mess. And no, it's so cute. She has her own little art situation set up. It's a disaster. I love it. And now we're gonna go to my room. This is how it ended up looking like, and I love it. We put some LED lights behind the mirror because I just love that cool effect on it. And you can also change the lights to whatever color you want, and you can do it through your phone as well. I have my bed set up. My bed is like a freaking cloud, and I love it. Got that poster hung up finally, and my rack barely fits. And also my chair doesn't really fit in my room, but I love it anyways. It's just kind of there. We have my closet situation. I have extra towels there, beauty products. I have symbiotics deodorant just because it's an easy grab. All my clothes hung up. 
it's not the cleanest right now but we're getting there i got some candles so this is by homesick this candle is from boy smells and it smells so you guys can't even smell it it smells so good it smells like a freaking man but yeah that's how my rack is looking like and i love it this bedding is from target it's from the castelluna line and it's honestly really nice and um good quality so yeah if you guys can hear the heater but I have to put you guys on my bedding detergent. So I wash my bedding once a week and this is the Laundress um, and Le Labo collab. And this is in Santal. So your bed can smell like Santal or they also have Rose 31. Both of these scents are so freaking good. And it makes, it just makes my room smell so good. And it's like a little a lush thing that you can do. I, I like to see it as a form of self-care. You guys can definitely check out those detergents. I will do a little update on life in New York. So I'm actually in a pretty good routine of going back to the gym so that I can get back to being stronger and getting the body that I actually want. Working and just enjoying the city, hanging out with my close friends, safely obviously, and just sit in my circle. So it's been so much fun. And I am already dreading leaving, which is something that I need to stop doing because I need to focus on being in the present, which is my downfall. But I feel like I'm starting to actually have a life here and I'm in love with it. I don't even want to go home. The only reason why I would be going home is because I have a car, which I bought last January and I'm still making payments on it so it's kind of like well now it's useless so i mean i'm gonna go home in the summer for two months then probably come back here ideally i like to live in the same apartment but someone else is moving in well these two girls friends are moving into this apartment so unfortunately that's not an option even though it's nicely furnished but i don't know we'll see what happens if i end up finding an apartment next year in new york city for a decent price and good location with all the amenities that i really want then i will highly consider moving here for a year but so far I'm loving New York and I feel like it's just such a me city and it feels so good and I feel right being here if that makes sense anyways that is my little update that is the last moving vlog I know it took a minute but it took a minute to actually set everything up and all that fun stuff so i hope you guys are also enjoying the vlogs as well which i'm sure some of you guys have also i'm gonna be doing more tmis slash mukbang slash shoot their drinks i guess you could say because those are really fun and you guys seem to enjoy those so yeah um i guess that is it for this moving vlog i'm pretty sure this is kind of short sorry but i will see you guys in my next video bye